Hello everyone, my name is Arvind Krishnan and I'm an Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. Today we're going to look at how to import a part and how to import loads from motion simulation and do a FEA study on it. So here I have a car jack and uh, there is a rotary motor on that, there's gravity downwards and I have a force of 8900 newtons simulating the force of a car or the weight of a car. I've already ran the study and that's kind of how it looks. So now to import the loadings into simulation, you click on simulation and then click on import motion loads. A small dialog box appears. You select the part that you want. I'm going to unselect the base and just hit the arrow to come on the selected components. And it wants a frame number. We are going from a dynamic rigid body software to a static software. So it's going to look at the loads only at one frame. So I'm going to put in frame number 400 or about 4 second mark and click on OK. So what this does is now, then I go ahead and open this part up. Say no one feature recognition. There's already a static study created with some remote loads simulating the effects of the forces generated by the other parts on this part. Basically all these just simulate the forces that are created at that moment. Again it's a static assumption and um, I have my materials plain carbon steel. I'm going to add a fixture and fix this phase. Because we have the reaction forces, I'm going to fix the phase that the force was initially applied to. And then I'm going to run. Once the study has successfully ran, we can see that the most uh, high stress areas are near the, the two holes where it combines with the other parts. So today we saw how to uh, import loads from motion simulation to a static FEA study. Thank you.